Detroit. It looked like the wartime blitz on London, but this was no war. It was arson, looting, a race riot blown up into something beyond control. At nighttime, anarchy took the city in its grip, and with authority powerless, looting by bands of both races added a new dimension to terror and lawlessness. manufacturing city that exports cars all over the world was in the grip of mad destruction. So were many other American towns. Harlem, New York's Negro Quarter, began to emulate Detroit. Rioting here is no new thing, but New York's police fear that this one might dwarf anything known before. All over the country, law-abiding people looked to the president for a lead. But Washington was a long way away. For the moment, it was a battle. Authority against crime on the rampage. the federal government is determined to grapple with all this evil has been made crystal clear by President Johnson. We will not tolerate lawlessness. We will not endure violence. It matters not by whom it is done or under what slogan or banner. It will not be tolerated.